previously on the Tagged Out Dirt Bagging Tour. We recruited five kids from around the country to have the absolute best hunting season you could ever imagine. We're gonna be out all night bow fishing. We're gonna go fishing with Catman. Yeah, bro, yeah! In first place, we got Eli. Man, this is this is a dream come true. This is just gonna be something that we'll never forget. It's gonna be one of the best times of our lives. Your first stop is North Dakota. Let's go! Let's go. Where we're going. boys y'all excited oh yeah yeah so I guess the tour is officially starting now now that we're ready to hunt I want to go over the challenges kind of real quick on how this thing works so first of all you got your North Dakota tag only one person can win these tags some challenges like some of the Matthews challenges on X's and some of the sponsor tags that multiple people can win like if you get a perfect heart shot that's one of the Matthews sponsor challenges so everybody can win those tags but there's a whole bunch of tags that only one person can notch. When you notch your tag, here's the North Dakota tag, and I'm gonna go ahead and say Eli is gonna tag out first. So Eli would notch his tag, bada bing, bada boom, and then hang it right here on the board. And that's how the tag process works. Make sense? Yep, so pretty simple. Now we also have a whole bunch of rewards for you guys. You already won a couple of rewards in prep week, but we're gonna hide these throughout the whole tour. You never know where you might find it. You might find it in uh, underneath some cleaning products or underneath the pan that was supposed to be washed or in the truck or the tray. It's gonna be somewhere. The one we're gonna hide this week is the $100 food bonus. So I know food can be kind of tight with the food stipend. So you win this one and uh, you can go all out. And there's a whole bunch of them that you guys will be able to win throughout the whole tour. Carl, talk about some of the some of the challenges. That we're yeah, th these are, and this is not all of them. Uh, we just got a, a few here. Um, our good buddy Catman, this is the Catman challenge. Tag any deer wearing Crocs. So that'll be a good one. Rattle on a buck and tag him. So that's a twofer. That goes beyond just a normal tag. You got to rattle him in, obviously. Video on video, it didn't happen, right? Yep. All right. We've also got the dreaded tree stand, that big 30 pound climber. You brought that? We brought it. <laughs> so if anybody tags out from the tree stand, there you go. You can actually win a ta uh, challenge for that. And then the double tap. This is a really cool challenge. So if you're in a, if you're in a setup and you're trying to do the double tap, when the hunter, you know, arrows a deer, switch positions, cameraman becomes the hunter tries to arrow a deer in the same same hunt. That's the double tap. I'm pretty excited about it. What do you think, Carl? Yeah, this is a smorgasbord of challenges to go along with what you guys are already trying to accomplish out here. What this Tag Out Tour is all about is it's a golden opportunity for a bunch of young guys. Have fun with it. Have fun with it. Don't overthink it. Don't nuke it. But have a blast above and beyond everything. Now, go out. Let's kill. Go. Get out of here. Go. Go, go kill something. Obviously, you know, we're all from different places and upon a different terrain, but it's gonna be tough learning what bucks want to do in certain places, whether it's, you know, big agriculture places, small blocks of woods, even big blocks of woods and more agriculture. Where I'm from, it's just all woods mainly. So that's gonna be the biggest struggle is figuring out what the bucks and even deer in general want to do. Obviously, early season, they're gonna be leaning more towards food. I enjoy hunting around thick stuff because you usually have a lot of buck movement. You may, you may not see a lot of deer, you may not see a lot of does, but if I can find good transition lines and good places where bucks might use, then I think that's my game plan going into North Dakota. There's tracks everywhere. It used to be a little water hole. Um, it looks very promising. There's some big white oaks right up here back above in kind of a little open area, and they're dropping acorns like crazy. And then this little drainage ran down through here. And there's freaking tracks everywhere. Pretty sure there's elk tracks right here too. Um, this might be the spot. Cause these are, I mean, this track's fresh. I mean, there's just a ton of them. And it goes like that all the way through there. Well, I told you I wanted to find deer. And, um, 
just deer period so i reckon we found them buddy <laughs> well, we found some really good stuff but it's a pretty good walk back in there i don't know how far i didn't turn on my tracker and my phone died um but we found some really good stuff a lot of diversity and a lot ton of acres and stuff like everything everything a big buck wants basically water water food. yeah we found water i mean there's he's got everything the lady on the back side on some land but it's it's posted and stuff it's obviously private land but if we can get permission on from her there's a road to, to just to access to the public boy, it, it, it's it's i ain't gonna say it's game over but we got a better chance of walking through all the stuff we had to so that's where we're headed anyways it's freaking good baby we got it we got it but we had it already oh yeah so this is a public access road. We can literally pull right there. Really? Hard, right there. Sweet. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Us, baby. yeah. All right. So we are like, I don't know, three, four miles, five miles from the camp. Literally no more brakes on the truck. And it says Blake flew level low. So if I brake, I mean, it works a bit, but I don't think we can go nowhere with that. Dude, I can't I can't spend the night at camp. The night at camp. I can't. I just can't. Tell me I can't. We gotta find a solution, but what what we can what we can do. I mean I got a bit of break but I can't go like we can't we just can't we just I feel like we need to go back to the camp but I just don't wanna go back. That's so bad. I was pumped. I mean, I hunt first and first night of scouting. I mean, we got everything done just to have time. And we don't have time. Uh, All right. You're good, shut it off. Uh, we're heading to a spot we didn't get the chance to go yesterday because uh, uh, of the truck. So now the truck's good. Uh, Cars and Blake uh, took care of that. So a big thanks to, uh, to them. And then now we can go. We need to figure out like where we're going to be hunting at least tomorrow night. And then we'll see. But yes, we're heading uh, east. And uh, as of uh, when we'll get there, we'll get back to, back to you. Oh, Rob, it's not that old. I mean, two years, three years, no more than that. We're on the good, on good signs. Old sign, but good, it's good. There's another doe back there. She looks alone. I think she's alone. I knew there was deer in here. I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. We should see something out of her saddle. So stick with us and hopefully we'll see some deer tomorrow. Let's go back to the camp. So I would say if I go uh, on this edge of the field, my, my wind's gonna blow where, where they're bedded. I mean, yep. I'm sure they're bedded in between the I'm water. Sure, I'm sure you're right, yep. What might be a struggle for me or something like, I like to have a routine. So having my gear prep and my stuff ready and leaving at, at an exact hour. So I don't know with the camera guy, but he better get up and go hunting. <laughs> Good. I'm hungry, dude. Everybody's heading out. We're about to head to the spot we scouted yesterday that looks really, really good. Um, Parker and Johnny and uh, Casey and all them are going to be at a different spot um, or a different area, but me and Blake are going to be at a completely different area than them. So I think they're farther south than them. So we're going to try to get on them and see what we can do. Might should do, but um, probably going to try to hold off if I can. But if she just, if she blows, she goes, man. So we're about to head in. All right. Hopefully we can see something. Hope so.
Tell him what you done. Put my phone with the truck. <laughs> Better run. Off to a good start. Now we're finally getting rain time. <laughs> Alright y'all. Man bike finally got in the tree. After I don't know how long. <laughs> Took us like 20 minutes. We finally got everything set up. I think we're in a good spot. We just had a freaking dude walk right up on us. So, anyways, we're gonna see what we can do. We got everything set up. Hopefully, it's a good evening. So, maybe we'll see some dude. Was, uh honestly unexpected for me I don't know about Blake but that was unexpected for me for a first evening in North Dakota but anyways I guess that's a wrap on mine and Blake's evening it was a very eventful one and I've got a lot of confidence that we're gonna kill one of them bucks dang sure kill a doe right there so we're heading to the same piece we went yesterday uh, evening we actually spotted the two does and a spike I won't shoot a doe tonight, it may change, <laughs> I may change my mind as it goes, but for now, I'm gonna pass on a doe, uh, yeah, a decent buck would be the goal for tonight. Alright, I guess, first sit in the saddle, hunting, actually, hunting, but the, the wind is good, the, the wind looks good to me, it's been blowing like that. And I don't think the deer will come this way, so... Anyway, I was struggling a bit because it's my first time hunting in the US so early uh, and in North Dakota. I mean, I've never been here before, so... But as it goes, I should be better. I should get better at it. Even with the saddle, it's my first time, so... We'll see. seeing nothing um, we not we did not even heard anything like except for uh, squirrels there was a bunch of squirrels
that was a good buck. I mean, it was a two-year-old buck, but I would have shot him for sure. He was, I mean, it was not even 30 yards from us, from the road. Uh, but this is uh, electro electronically posted, so we can't hunt, we can't ask for permission. Uh, we could, but I mean, it's posted, so. I mean, they're not so far from where we have permit access, anyway. Two good bucks. So this is st so steep. I feel like they were traveling like that. Okay. Since we need to wait for the to ask permission, we I mean we will wait because it's 7:30. I don't want to be too early. I want to. Like, I feel like 9 a.m. would be good, especially on a Sunday. Um, what we could do at the moment at this time. Uh, and, uh, while we were waiting, we could like try to figure out a plan B. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I can't. No. We have a whole bunch of people already hunting. Okay, I got okay. you. Alright, right. sorry. Right. Thank it's you. Right. Yeah. Thank you, bye. bye. Damn. <laughs> Dude, it was good. <laughs> I tried my best. Yeah. <laughs> it's what it is. I was doing like... <laughs> Ma'am, <laughs> please. Oh, okay, I see. Oh, damn. I'm gonna cry, turn it off. And we're about to ease into a spot where we had some great encounters yesterday eating on two different bucks and a bunch of does. And I think we've got a pretty good game plan. We're not 100% on where we're gonna set up or whether we're gonna be in a tree on the, or on the ground. But um, I got a feeling it's gonna come together. They're, uh, they've all been hyping me up, so I ain't gonna say too much or be too overconfident, but I'm pretty confident in this evening set up. So we'll see y'all on the walk in and in the tree. We are at one of the of the spot I wanted to go. It's uh, finally it's not. Uh, we asked uh, a few of, your, of our friends, and it's not posted. So the 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 idea or the strategy is to go towards the bed without spooking the deer that are feeding on acorns or in the fields, and waiting for them to come to come our way. I think if we see something. Uh, the the kind of bed will will be in or the kind of terrain will be in it's a, a terrain for a big buck so if we see something i think it's it's gonna be big we we might might see a doe but i don't know have I, I have a feeling that if we see something in there it's gonna be a buck See where he's heading? We were there this morning. No way! Stay behind me, follow. Did you see that thing, bro? I mean. Do you have a good film of him? Yeah. He's coming down the road. He's going through this stuff. And he's following this ridge. This ridge. Back there. And you see they're all oak trees. And he's going back these pine trees and these oak trees. Right at the edge of the ditch. And he's bed. He will bed right there. That's my bed. <laughs> Alright, we got 
problem. What's up? So we found a hundred dollar food bonus card. Cool. Who found it? Well, highlight eyes on it. Yeah. And then Eli grabbed yeah, I picked it. Picked it up. <laughs> <laughs> I said, "Hey, look at card." <laughs> he went, "Cool." You guys want to split it? No. No. Mm. What did he say? The food card? Mm -hmm. Hundred dollars. All right. How about a shoot off? You guys have both been shooting quite a bit out here, right? Mm -hmm. Practicing? Yeah. You game? Game. Yeah. One arrow, 30 yards. 30 cool. yards. One shot, 30 yards. One shot, 30 yards. All okay. right. Close, I'll go put a, a nail or a tack or something in the center of the dot, and then closest to that nail, or whatever it is, gets it. Case closed. Sounds good. All right. All right. Do you like stick it in there like that? It's stuck in. It's about literally the size of a pea, the end of it. Okay. So it's, it's in the center of, of that center dot. So that's your target. All right, take your time. Big old trip to the Dollar General. <laughs> oh, oh, freaking whiff. Shot yet. Freaking whiff. Don't miss. Oh, oh no. I grabbed the side. Double whiff. Let's <laughs> go see who. You both suck. Yeah. All right, there you go. There's the stick. You see the stick? Yeah. I'm pretty sorry. Wow, we, we both suck. suck. We suck. <laughs> I don't. I, yeah, we don't deserve that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well. Well. What's gravy? Isn't it like brown gravy? Is there's not a meat in it? No. No. No, there's no gravy. What? What's what's? Poutine? So there's fries. Yeah. Uh, barbecue sauce. And. Uh, I thought it was gravy. Cheese. Uh, cheese nuggets. Cheese like. curds. Yeah. Cheese. Ah! Oh my God. <laughs> Did you film it? Yeah, I got it. Okay. <laughs> Blake, you scared the crap out of me on film. I'm grateful that you didn't like tell me you got bit by a snake or like attacked by a bear. When I started making that challenge, I was like, man, somebody's gonna like, what if they really scare me? Like Blake died tonight or something. This is a lot better. You just got me with the. Oh look, you. here it is, Blake. <laughs> you have successfully completed the scare the crap out of the producer on film challenge by yourself. You did it by yeah. yourself. That's good. Was I supposed to have help? I'm glad I didn't you did. You, you, you wanted to do it first. 
Thank you. So congratulations. Thank you. Go, go, hang, go hang it up. All right. All right. Bingo. Big hopes for today. Big hopes? Yeah. I'm pumped. If we see a big doe, I mean, if we see a doe alone, I'm gonna shoot. That's a spirit. I wanna tag out in, in North Dakota. So. <laughs> Please. 
You know, she's the kind of sore. Sore body feels so good. North Dakota, yes. I wanted it so bad. Last day, last night, it was my last day. Damn, dude. Thanks, God. I, I had to take the shot because she was like, I don't know. I had to take it. Dude, I'm shaking so bad. My first though, out of a saddle. First year. First day ever. Hey, let's, let's try to text the boy. First though, ever. So loud, like, was so nice. Hey, dude, you said 10 yards? Yeah, all day. I'm not sure it's if, if it's even 10 yards. We did it, boys and girls. I was nuts. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I was. I, I freaked out. Like I was so excited, and I mean, like the last few days, we were seeing those, and I yeah. wasn't shaking at all. Not even excited. I shake more than you. Yeah. But the thing is, when you know you will shoot, like where, when you know you're about to shoot, like I think that's the difference. That yeah. make a difference. Yeah. Uh, you have something to say? Nothing but congrats. Thanks. You you earned it for sure. Oh, yeah, last yeah. day, last morning. Yeah, I could tell you were stressing a little bit, wanted to get one on the ground, and finally did. So, congrats, man. Thank you, buddy. We did it together. He did a freaking good job on, behind the camera, and I'm really picky about every tiny detail. So I'm always like careful about that, th think about that, and I know you know, but I just I'm I'm like that. I, I like to repeat stuff and make sure everything is. And we did it yeah. this morning. Now we got to go uh, get the boys, the other the other team, uh, as well as Parker, and we'll just uh, enjoy our, ov our harvest. Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. Eating tendies for dinner. Yes, sir. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, fellas. We have got a dead deer. Yes, sir. Gonna have to give that one to old Johnny. Sorry, Eli. Part of it. With this one. Casey, who was behind the camera, did a great job, and he also got a tag as well. And this is the film the shot from two or more angles. Good job, buddy. Good job, Casey. Good job, Excellent good. footage. All right, the Vortex Optics Challenge. The deer runs under 100 yards after you shoot it. First winner of the Vortex Challenge, and then tag any deer less than 100 yards from the road. Come on now. Well, boys, let's go get some groceries. You want to do that? Yep. Let's do it. Next week on the Tagged Out Dirt Bagging Tour. It says here runs 100 yards before That's expiring. Before right. expiring. On I the agree. first day run. I on the first. Pull it from me. You can pull it from me. Next time you hunt, you got the tree stand tag. Oh. <laughs>